During these tough economic times, fiscal responsibility is more important than ever. But Chat News has learned the majority of city aldermen didn't stay on budget when it came to their expense accounts. In fact, documents we obtained show overspending by a combined $45,000. And as reporter Kyle Bax discovered, the spending covered travel, private education, and massive phone bills. Aldermen are paid nearly 30 grand a year to serve the city. On top of that, each one receives nearly $8,000 for expenses. But for some, that's apparently not enough. Documents obtained by Chat News show city aldermen overspent their budgets by a total of $45,000. Money spent on flights, hotels, and in some cases, hefty phone bills. And when it comes to expense account, it's always something you can prevent. You can choose not to do things. You can choose not to travel. Topping the list are two first-term aldermen, Ty Schneider and Jeremy Thompson. Aldermen are allowed $2,000 for conferences and education. In that area, Thompson billed the city for over $8,000. Schneider billed the city for $10,000, of which $6,000 was spent in Calgary and Edmonton for business and energy courses. I was put into energy. Uh, I don't come into something and I, I don't do it haphazard. I'm going to understand it. I want to learn it. You're not elected to go to courses. You're elected to make decisions, uh, have a sound approach. City aldermen were given new blackberries after they were elected and put them to use, racking up phone bills. My work is, is a lot of work with developers and builders and, and business. So I'm constantly in touch with these people. I use a lot of time. Travel bills were quite high as many aldermen attended the Federation of Canadian Municipalities conference in Quebec City last summer. The trip cost about $3,500 per person. Alderman Schneider booked his flight and hotel, but ended up backing out and staying in Medicine Hat. The city was then on the hook for the cost of the unused trip, which documents show was $1,900. Once we were ready to go, then I found out my father had cancer and I cancelled the trip. That ticket comes back. I can use it for up to a year and you can extend it for 18 months. So that's what I've done in the next trip that I required to leave town. I'll use that ticket for it. So it's not wasted money, it's used money. Spending the least was Alderman Graham Kelly. I work cheap. The taxpayers are getting good value for their dollar. He was quite frugal. In fact, he was under budget by over $2,000. The main reason was because he didn't attend any major conferences. I don't go just for a place to go and I pick and choose as far as the Federation of Canadian Municipalities is concerned. Big spenders or not, it's unlikely any alderman will reimburse the city for their expenses, meaning taxpayers will have to pay for the costs charged to the city. Kyle Bax, Chat News.